Police say a North Idaho mother will face a vehicular homicide charge for not properly buckling her baby into her car seat. Chloe Jensen was killed during a multi-car crash on North Freya Street here in Spokane last year. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey shows us why her mom is not only dealing with the loss of her daughter, but now some legal, legal problems. Well, by now, we've all seen these warning signs. You're told that if your car has a passenger side airbag, this is a very dangerous place for your young children. Yet police say Eileen Jensen put her young daughter there anyway last March and then caused the crash that killed young Chloe. As soon as arriving police saw the deployed airbag sandwiched between the car seat and dash, they knew Chloe Jensen was going to be badly injured. The airbag comes out at such great force and speed that there really is no opportunity for the child to um, survive a crash like that. Chloe would eventually die from injuries she suffered in the crash. Police allege her mother not only improperly installed the car seat, but was speeding and weaving in and out of traffic before the collision. This particular case, the investigation shows not only an improperly restrained child, as well as some negligent driving, and you take all of those factors into consideration when you're coming up with a charge. And that's why prosecutors will now charge Eileen Jensen with vehicular homicide. They feel airbag dangers have been so well publicized that parents should now be held accountable accountable for not properly restraining their children, even if it's inconvenient having your kids out of reach but safely secured in the back seat. There may be a thousand reasons why you need to keep an eye on your child or you need to have them next to you, but reality also is the fact that your child has to be properly restrained because you never know what's going to happen when you're out driving on the streets. Eileen Johnson has not been arrested and has not tried to flee the area. She's now going to receive a summons to appear in court and likely be allowed to remain free to take care of her other children until her vehicular homicide trial gets underway. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.